<laughs> Good morning, we're so happy you're here. We're vlogging these days. So if you like this video, we hope you come back tomorrow. <laughs> Play music. <laughs> this was a Christmas gift, like two or three Christmases ago. Maybe two. Yeah. You love it? It is so funny when presents that weren't necessarily a hit when you first got them, all of a sudden they're found and it's like the best toy ever. Um, we're having a chill morning. We actually didn't sleep great last night. Jamesy, he's been waking up and like usually he'd like wake up and go back to sleep, but he's been coming into our room, but like, kind of like frantic and like his heart is racing and stuff. So kind of try to work through that. We're gonna get like a like a blackout curtain today just because his room kind of has like creepy shadows and we're hoping that maybe like darkness will help. Um, but that's really like our first like step in trying. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them below. He's got a dermatologist appointment today, um, and that is downtown. So I'm basically just gonna have a chill, chill morning at home, and then that way we can be nice and ready for the appointment. Where is your potato head? Potato head. Yeah, let's find it. And then Teddy will just nap on the go. Um, Get Jamesy started going to the dermatologist because he's a big kid now. Also, if you're curious what's on our TV, I just searched resort TV and it is like a live feed of like today's true time and true weather. You'll see it cycles through photos and then sometimes it even has live wait times for the ride. So there's like a couple of different versions. So this one seems to be a little bit more simple with just like hours and such. Um, but it's nice because it has the true time. The true weather, I mean, the true weather for where we happen to live where this is, so I guess that's only helpful for us. But if you're Eastern time, the time is right. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of different options, and it's nice, just like music in the background, kinds of feels like you're at a Disney resort. He's waiting patiently for his appointment. And this little one is snoozing, so hopefully it stays that way. Already the dermatologist appointment went great. You know what, we're just gonna have a drive up order. We're not gonna go inside. Okay, I know it's fun to go into Target, right? Um, but I'm doing a little errand pickup to get those blackout curtains um, from Target um, and a couple of other little Eastery things, and then we'll be home. It was great to be in Winter Park in our old neck of the woods. Um, but we will actually be there later this week to go to this great Italian deli that we found there. Funny that we didn't, I don't, I don't think it was there when we lived there. Maybe it was, maybe it was. Um, but anyways, we're gonna be getting stuff for our Easter dinner at the deli. The boys are gonna get haircuts. Sorry, the order arrived. But basically, I was gonna say that We'll be back in Winter Park this weekend. I was very tempted to do a couple of things up there, but I really wanted to beat traffic. I don't know if we're going out tonight or not. Um, but yeah, we we just love that area. And like, one of the biggest questions we get is like, how often we go to Disney now with the kids and just kind of like the different lifestyle, not vlogging. And typically it is like three to four times a week. Um, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on what's going on. So like. I feel like before it was tough living there when we were still going to Disney like almost every single day and Peter was commuting to an office and like had we thought about that more like we might have actually moved back to Winter Park because 
it is way more like city neighborhoodly walkable all of those things um, we really do love our townhouse and like everything our community has to offer but um, there's just something special about up there um, and we we are at home more so yeah we go up there as often as we can um, and highly recommend it if you are like on a longer stay or like you're not against getting out of the Disney bubble to go up there while you visit here we are home now playing on the slide folding more laundry because that does not end I'm waiting for dad to be done with work Ready? We're gonna try out some factor meals today. No, I go beach. Yeah, we're gonna go to the beach, but first we're gonna eat dinner. Peter's gonna have the East Coast style shrimp what? boil, and I'm going to try the jalapeno lime cheddar chicken. And I'll tell you, it smells really good. It smells really I'll good. I'll tell you what I'm worried about. I think we're too hungry. I think that we're I'm too. nervous about portions. But maybe that's the but portion that we should be eating. <laughs> that's true. That's very true. A little potato, a little shrimp. Is it good? Really good. And here is the jalapeno cilantro cheddar chicken. This portion looks bigger. I think probably because like the shrimp is probably like the chicken is like more bang for your buck. And then this is cauliflower rice, so. It's tasty. It's good. Just yeah. a kick. Yeah. So I think with the factory meals, obviously this was our first time eating it. But I think what's worse, what has worked best for our family and our boys eating, where is that key? They have been exposed to so many foods and enjoy so many foods. Um, that was loud. Because we have just taken what I'm making for dinner and basically made it into a kid's version or a deconstructed version. Um, and that's how they've always eaten. And so this kind of like throws a wrench in our typical plan. So like, it's weird today that we all ate something different. It's just not how we've done things. And so we kind of, I'd either like have to have like three of the same thing for us all to have, or if this is just gonna be like a quick, like a quick thing we do every once in a while, then maybe it's not a big deal. Um, but that's like the first thing that came to mind. That it's just, it's just really strange for us to not eat all the same thing. Down we go. Plan tonight is to see the Easter eggs. Go to the beach. It's gonna run. And fun rest in the morning. Guys, we're already on the day 10. We're almost, <laughs> we're like, we're at the point where it's like, we're so hungry for the end because we're $350 away from finishing it all. Yeah, so the 10 days of vlogging was like an easy, like getting us like, we like clean numbers. Yeah, like getting us close to the end of like the full fundraiser. So we still have about $300 to fundraise after that, but it's still a really, really big deal. And we're debating on if we're just gonna extend the vlog from 10 days to 13 days and, yeah. and do that to fundraise the last $300, or if we'll do like a, get us to live the end, we'll do a stream. live stream. Something like that. So we're still figuring that out, but. But the fact that we're that close. Right, so that was $1,000 from Friday. To today. So hopefully we have $25 to fundraise today if we want to do it Yeah. In four days. And we still have to get everything else done by Tuesday. Then we're going to the yeah. beach. James is a beach, a beach boy. Oh, I thought it was Minnie's house. Cute. 
James and the Giant Peach. That one's a big one. Kakamora. So there's this grand cottage here. Sells little treats. It's fun. Alice. Oh, this is a Bambi one with the greens that Thumper doesn't like to eat. Cute. The egg for Cusco. Fire. <gasps> yeah, fire. Oh, it's an elemental one. A little Wade and. Why can't I think of her name? Ember. A little koi pod. Snow White. Little villain eggs. I'm sure there's eggs at Epcot. We'll have to check those out whenever we go this week. Got a Main Street Electrical Parade. That one's cool. Aladdin. Belle and the Beast and Al's Toy Barn. This artist is working on painting an egg. It's a dragon. Sometimes you gotta walk away from the movie and see the electric pageant. Anyone who. 11.30. Four mile run. Good and done. Gonna refreshen up and see. What and if, what school work I'm going to do tonight, if any, because it is late. It's a solid Tuesday. It feels like a Wednesday, but it's just Tuesday, so tomorrow will be Wednesday. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.